हेलो फ्रेंड्स एंड वेलकम टू ए के अग्रवाल एप्टीट्यूड सीरीज फ्रेंड्स इन दिस सेशन वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न ए टेक्निक फॉर सॉल्विंग ए प्रॉब्लम ऑन सर्कुलर अरेंजमेंट हियर द गिविन प्रॉब्लम इज पी क्यू आर एस टी वी डब्ल्यू एंड वाई आर सिटिंग अराउंड ए सर्कुलर टेबल फेसिंग द सेंटर पी सिट्स सेकेंड टू द लेफ्ट ऑफ टी डब्ल्यू सिट्स थर्ड टू राइट ऑफ वाई वाई इज नॉट एन इमीडिएट नेबर ऑफ टी Q and R are immediate neighbors of each other, but neither Q nor R is an immediate neighbor of Y. V is an immediate neighbor of R. So, friends, this information is given based on this. The question is how many persons sit between T and Y when counted in clockwise direction from T. Friends, whenever such types of problems are being asked, always there are more than one question. But anyway, let us analyze this given information. Eight persons are sitting. Around a circle facing the center, eight persons facing the center. Let us go statement-wise. P sits second to left of T. If we imagine T is here, this is the right side of T, this is the left side of T. It means P will occupy this position because T is facing the center. So this will be the left, this will be the right of T. Okay. W sits third to right of Y. But where is Y? We don't know. So let us highlight this. Y is not an immediate neighbor of T. Y is not an immediate neighbor of T. It means Y cannot occupy these two positions. Okay, Q and R are immediate neighbors of each other, but neither Q nor R is an immediate neighbor of Y. Q and R are immediate neighbors of each other, but neither Q nor R is an immediate neighbor of Y. But where is Y? We don't know. So let us highlight this. We will see it afterwards how it can be incorporated. Okay. Next statement: V is an immediate neighbor of R. V is an immediate neighbor of R. So still things are not clear. Let us highlight this also. But if we club these two. Q and R they are neighbor and this statement say V and R they are neighbor. It means Q R and V they are sitting together. Q R and V either they will sit in this format Q R V or they will sit V R Q. Will but one thing is clear from these two statements that these three are sitting together. Now let us go to this highlighted. statement w sits third to right of y w is right to y let us imagine if y is here then w will be this is the right side of y if y is here 1 2 3 w cannot be here it means y cannot be here because if y is here w must occupy this position which is not possible okay if y occupy this position then w must be at this position which is not possible so y cannot be at this position also so y can occupy either this or this position so if we see if y is here just once again i repeat if y is here w will be here if y is here this is the third right to y 1 2 3 if y is here w will be here which is not possible because these three persons must sit together if y is here w is here only two space left here one space left here one space left here these three cannot sit together it means y will not occupy this position also so y cannot occupy these three and two five position and these two positions are always already filled so obviously y will occupy this position and w will occupy this position so y and w positions are fixed now these three will be sitting together but either q r v or v r q let us see this statement q and r are immediate neighbor of each other but neither q nor r is an immediate neighbor of y Q or R cannot be neighbor of Y, so Y neighbor will be V. So they will be sitting like V, R, and Q. So they will be sitting Q, R, V like this. Only one position is left, so certainly one person is left. That is S. So S will occupy this position. Now, friends, once this formation is completed, you can answer this question: How many persons sit between T and Y when counted in clockwise direction? This is T. This is Y. If we count clockwise, one, two, three. 
so between t and y three persons are sitting so answer is 3 friends thank you very much for watching this video you can also follow me on facebook thank you